What's the best organic fertilizer to use to produce the best vegetables? It's probably one of the most asked questions we get here at Bell's Backyard Garden. I put a bunch through the test. I've got my top three. Let's go talk about them. There's one thing I can promise you. Any recommendations that I make is something that I've tested myself. I'm not going to take the word off of somebody else. As a matter of fact, I have a test bed over in my garden that we're going to go take a look at where I put these fertilizers through a test and I'm going to show you the results. But let's go ahead and jump into my top three. All right, number three on my list is this one right here. This is from Vigoro and it's available at all of your garden centers. It is a 465 organic plant food for tomatoes and vegetables. It's incredibly soluble and it works very, very well in your garden. As a matter of fact, our beginner garden that we have out here, this is what I used as my first application as we were beginning to turn the soil. Now, the way that you dose this for an eight inch pot, you're going to use four tablespoons, mix it into the soil. If you're going to go into the garden or in your raised garden beds, you're going to use this one cup for every 10 square feet. This is a good solid product and it works incredibly well and we've had some wonderful successes with it. All right, number two on our list. If you want to kick it up a notch, this is what we're going to use right here in our garden. This is from Haas Tools. Now, this is their organic fertilizer. It's a 543. It's incredibly soluble and works incredibly well. Now, what this has over the Vigoro, this has 9% calcium in it. Now, those of you that are familiar with blossom end rot, calcium is incredibly important to prevent that. Now, that's the reason why we're going to go ahead and switch to Haas. Now, before we go to my number one choice and the reason why I chose it, one of the issues with organic fertilizers is the fact that the nutrients aren't readily available. What you have to do is put it into the soil, then the microbes that are in the soil break it down to its smallest element, then it's available for the plants to start using it. Now, I heard of a product that said it was already pre-digested in a liquid form. Quite frankly, I didn't believe it. So I ordered some and I put it through a test. Now, the results that are out in our garden are absolutely phenomenal. So before I introduce you to the product, Let's go take a look. Okay, we're out here in the test area of my garden. This is where I test products and systems to see if they actually work or not. Now, what I did for this particular product is I took six pots. They're all filled with the same soil. They got the same amount of light and they're getting the same amount of water. What I did, the first two pots, all I did was just use water. The second pot, I used the dry organic fertilizers. And then the third two pots, I used this particular product to see how well it was gonna work. So let's take a look at the results. Now each one of these sets of pots were planted with five pea plants and as you can expect in the first set that didn't receive any fertilizer at all the plants are just about done we planted these about a month ago what they did is they came up they got to about two inches tall they ran out of nutrients and then they just died but that's what's expected if we don't fertilize our plants properly now here's our second set of plants. This is the one that we put our dry organic fertilizer in. Now you can see the plant's overall health, uh, it's a little shaky. It looks a little leggy. It's starting to show a little bit of malaise, some yellowing of the leaves. It is producing some peas and it's producing some flowers too. Now it started to get yellow as the pea pods started coming out. And what I think that's caused from, once these guys start to throw off their fruit, they become incredibly hungry. And I don't believe that the organic fertilizer, at least the dry version, is going to be able to keep up with the nutrient level that it really requires. It's probably going to be okay. It's just not going to produce the way that I want it to. All right, we're down to our last set of pots. Now, this is what we've been using our liquid fertilizer on and our number one choice. You can tell by these plants versus the other ones. They're a lot darker. They're producing a lot more flowers, probably 10 times as much. The pea pods that they're throwing off are probably two to three weeks ahead of the last set of plants that we just looked at. This fertilizer has been absolutely phenomenal. What we did as soon as the seedlings started coming out of the ground and then they started showing their mature leaves, we started using this fertilizer on a weekly dose. Now the fertilizer we're talking about is a company called AgroThrive. Let's go over to the table and talk about it a little more in depth. If you're getting value out of this video, and I hope that you are, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. The purpose of Bell's Backyard Garden is to provide information to gardeners on products that are readily available that's going to help them have a successful garden. If you have any comments or critiques, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Any of the products that we talk about are going to have a link down at the bottom, or you can go directly to the manufacturer's website. Let's go ahead and get back to it. So what's AgroThrive? Well, AgroThrive, at least to my knowledge, is the only pre-digested organic liquid fertilizer. 
being pre-digested means that it's already been broken down so it's readily available to the plants when we put it into our soil and water it in. Conversely to our dry fertilizer that has to be broken down by microbes. This gives us a lot more control of our plants, their nutrient values, and then how we're going to apply it to them as they grow. Now it comes in two different types. We've got the general purpose right here which is a 332. This you're going to use on your leafy vegetables or on your plants that are starting to come up out of the ground before they start producing their fruits. Then they also have this right here, which is their fruit and flower. It's a 335, means it has a little more potassium in it. So when your plants start to produce their flowers and starts to produce their fruits, that's when you want to switch over to this. Start doing this on a weekly basis. Now the way that we apply it is we'll do one ounce for every gallon of water and then we'll apply it weekly using the general purpose. And then once we start seeing the flowers, then we switch over to the fruit and flowers. Guys, this is the best stuff that I've seen so far. Now, how are we gonna use it here at Bell's Backyard? Well, we're gonna use it in conjunction with Haas tools. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our Haas organic fertilizer as our base. Once we start getting our garden prepared, we're gonna use one cup or a cup and a half for every 10 square feet of our garden surface area. Then we're gonna switch over once the seedlings start producing their mature leaves, then we're gonna switch over to our AgroThrive general purpose. Once the flowers come out, then we're gonna maintain it with our fruit and flower. So there you have it, our top three. If you have a product that you've been using that's been successful for you, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below so everybody can discuss it. This is an open forum and we like to go ahead and share information with each other. I'm Greg from Bell's Backyard. I'll see you on the next video.